Hey gang, what's up? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today and welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most controversial and effective bass catchers, not just bass, but a lot of different species, stripers, white bass, walleye, whatever, that has come in the, along the fishing scene the past 10 years and that's the Alabama rig. Going to give you guys some tips and advice on that. Now, the thing about an Alabama rig is it catches about every species of predator fish out there. And if you're not familiar with an Alabama rig, there's a little bit of controversy behind it because when it first came out, it was so effective for catching big bass that um, a lot of, there was a lot of blowback against it as far as uh, especially tournament anglers didn't want it because they thought that there was too many hooks on the thing and the, some of the fish were getting hooked on the sides and the bellies and they didn't see it as a good conservation practice. And then it, uh, you know, they thought, some people thought it took out the sporting element of the fishing a little bit. And a lot of tournament organizations banned the Alabama rig, uh, you know, from being used. They either banned it or they put regulations on it where you can only have a certain number of hooks. Say, for example, here in Missouri, we're only allowed to have, you can have as many baits as you want on there, but only three of them are allowed to have hooks on it. So there's that type of regulation as far as, uh, you know, how many hooks that can be used on Alabama rig. But regardless guys, what you think about it, Alabama rig is one of the most effective lures to catch fish on that's ever been created. So we're gonna get, give you guys some tips and advice on that. First of all, um, when Alabama rig started out, they were a lot bigger overall. The wires were longer, they were thicker, the swim baits they used on them were much bigger. But what has happened is since the fish have gotten so conditioned to this bait over the past 10 years, most Alabama rigs are a little smaller like this. They got wires, some of them have blades, some of them doesn't, but most of the time people are using like two or three inch swim baits on the things now. Um, most Alabama rig setups, they have five wires on them like this, the average one does. Um, and like I said, the hook, some states allow you to have five hooks, some two, some whatever. Like for example, this one right here, I was using this out at Lake Mead and it's only allowed two hooks on it. So every state has a different hook regulation. But guys, it's pretty easy to fish. It's a very simple rig to fish. The hardest thing about it is getting things set up, rigging your swim baits, rigging your jig heads on it. But as far as when you fish it, all you do is basically cast it out, let it sink down a little bit, and just start reeling it in. It, what, it, what, what the, the uh, intention of this lure is, is it creates a look of bait fish going through the water, a school of bait fish. So when this thing's going through the water, all these swim baits are flapping and it looks like a little school of minnows and the fish will come up and grab it. But the, the equipment that you want to use on this is pretty, pretty critical because based upon how heavy your heads are and how big your swim baits are, the thing can weigh several ounces. So you need to have heavy equipment on it. Most of the time, I'm throwing this thing on like a seven and a half foot flipping stick with 20 to 25 pound test uh, uh, fluorocarbon line on it. Heavy setup with that. And uh, you, the reason you want to use heavy setup is number one, being able to cast the weight of it. And number two, if you get hung up, you can uh, you know, pull the things free without breaking your whole rig and that type of stuff. So anyway, guys, um, that's the Alabama rig. It's just one of the most highly effective bass catchers or not, again, not just bass catchers, but any type of lure catchers out there. It's particularly good during the cold weather months. Um, the months of like uh, December through late March is when it really excels. Like right now is a really good time with it. And um, it's something that uh, regardless how you feel on it, it catches fish. I personally don't like to fish it because it's a pain in the butt. It's like when you, the thing, these things get caught up all over the place or caught up on your carpet, if you're in your boat, on your, and it's, and if you break one off, it takes 20 minutes to tie another one on and get it rigged up. It's a pain in the butt, but it does catch a lot of fish and it catches a lot of big fish. So that's it guys, Alabama rig. Um, it's gonna be around for a while and uh, it's just something if you do fish, you probably wanna at least try a little bit. So thanks for tuning in, we'll see y'all next time.